Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we're going to talk about four reasons why you get a bruised cheek when you shoot a shotgun. The first reason is the gun will be too low for you. So when you had or bought your gun, they haven't looked at the gun fit correctly and make sure the comb is the right height for you. Because when you put your gun into your shoulder, you have to bring your head down to the gun. The second reason is you put the gun in the wrong place in your shoulder. So a lot of people mount the gun too low in their shoulder, which makes them have to bring their head down. The third reason is shooting two thumpy cartridges. The thumpier the cartridge you shoot, the more your head is gonna bounce around on that gun. The fourth reason is if you ram your head down on that gun to think to yourself, I'm gonna put my head on my gun, ramming your head down is just as bad as not putting your head on that gun. So let's start from the first one. The first thing is if you mount that gun and that gun, the comb is too low, you will be looking into the back of this action. So to see over the top of the action, you need to do that. And then you have a gap there, and the gun punches you like that in the face. So that's the first reason, is make sure that gun is fitted correctly. Make sure when you buy your gun, you've gone to your shooting school, and this is where going to a shooting school is really the only place you want to be looking at buying that gun because you can make sure that gun is fit on the shooting school and at a, a sensible couple of targets. The second thing is a lot of people do tend to mount that gun down there and then you're thinking, where do I put my head? And your head it ends up there. So my head is touching, but it's not actually on the gun. So the gun does that and jumps in my shoulder. When you're mounting that gun, your gun shouldn't be tight in here on your collarbone. It shouldn't be out here on your arm. It shouldn't be down here. It should be right in the middle part of this shoulder. It should be there, there. So again, if I put the camera, if I mount the gun into the camera, I don't want to mount my gun there because it's right on my collarbone. And if you're a lady, that will really hurt because ladies tend to have sharper collarbones. So that is not what you want to see. That is not what you want to see. Gun on your arm. That is not what you want to see. You want to see that. That. And if you do that, and you think to yourself, you've got an angle created by your jawbone and your cheekbone. That angle fits on the gun three fingers away from the comb that angle fits on the gun there so again if i do it like that it fits there and if you look at where it is in my shoulder it's just below my shoulder and it's right in the middle and that is where getting yourself a decent skeet vest whether it's for clay shooting or for game shooting if you look at the different skeet vests i wear on here the pad there is long and it's wide so you need to be thinking, it helps you where you put that gun. So picking yourself a decent skeet vest is as important as picking yourself the right gun. So the gun is there, there. The second thing is make sure you get yourself a sensible cartridge. When you're learning to shoot, get yourself a nice little soft cartridge I'm gonna say Fiocchi do a brilliant one, but a lot of the other cartridge manufacturers still do them. But stick with 21 grams or 24 grams when you're learning to shoot. Once you're confident with whether you put that gun in your shoulder, then you can move up. So today we're gonna to use 28 gram, the new Fiocchi Goldens, which are 28 gram. But you don't need to shoot. They are superb competition cartridge. But when you're learning to shoot, just pick yourself a nice soft cartridge. Not too soft. There's a lot of cartridge manufacturers out there that try and do one that's a subsonic. I'm not gonna mention any names, but I have mentioned it on this program before. 
but you want a proper cartridge. Fiocchi probably do the best one for learning to shoot. It patterns way, it's soft, it works. And then the fourth question is a lot of people, because we talk about getting your head on the gun, a lot of people tend to do a ram that head down like that. Now ramming your head down is just as bad as not putting your head on the gun. Because if I ram my head down here and I pull the trigger, boof, boof, it push it, 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 it's too solid in my shoulder and in my cheek. So you've got to think to yourself, there, there. So I always think to me, think about just putting your chubby chops on that wood. So it's there, there, there. And that is the four reasons why people get a bruised cheek or a bruised shoulder when they're shooting. If you, are, if you do get a bruised cheek or a bruised shoulder, comment below and we will try and help you and try and help you sort that situation out. Or go to your local shooting school, treat yourself to a lesson. It might not be the guns wrong, it could be the fact that you're just mounting that gun wrong. Now I'm going to shoot a few cartridges, just so you can see the difference. If you're not sure about getting that gun right, before you start, close the gun into your line of view, mount your gun where you're going to pull the trigger, drop it away, then call for the target. Just so it gets you thinking, how are you going to do it? Pull. 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 So now I'm going to show you what not to do when you mount that gun. Pull. See, my head is miles away from it. So if that happens and I'm not holding the gun right, that happens. Or well, this is the other one, mounting my gun too low. Pull. See, my head's not right on the wood. Or if the gun is too tight into my collarbone, this happens. Pull. So that really hurt because that was on my collarbone. Or if the gun is too far out on your arm. Pull. So that's where you get a bruise there on your arm. So again, I will do the correct way and I'll do a couple of pairs just to show. Pull. 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 And just to go in with the cartridges, these are a nice soft cartridge they're actually probably one of the best competition cartridges you can get. Okay, they're expensive, but they're smooth. If you watch my arm, when it goes off, my arm is soft, it doesn't push me back. Pull. Pull. And then the other thing, take note to where my weight is. A lot of people, Again, they mount the gun, and a lot of people, they lean back on their back foot. So you watch what happens to my weight. Pull. I get pushed back. So think to yourself, your weight has got to be on the front foot. Pull. Pull. So your whole body weight has got to be forward.
pull. Pull. That really hurts. Pull. 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 That really hurts. Pull. Pull. I hope you found that interesting. Please comment below on anything in this film that you, you want us to go through and we will do our utmost to help you. Please comment below, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.